open the meeting and we're going to approve the minutes. Do I have a motion for Mr. Bannock? I'll make a motion. Great. Second. Motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Dan. Uh, correspondence, there is an email from town council that came in on Thursday. The ATB had a hearing on the North Maple Street case that we have and they denied our request to transfer it to formal, which is fine, because the one thing I wanted out of that was to be able to get into the property. Right. So they issued a uh, an order uh, an order to compel an inspection within 30 days. So basically what he didn't want was us to get inside. Right. But he still wants a huge abatement. So the ATB said if they don't let us in the, the next 30 days, we just file a motion to dismiss it. It's gone. Good. It's a good thing. Okay, that's the way it works, and that's the way it's going to be done. So hopefully he'll let us in if he's got a case, and we will see that he does. But if he Probably doesn't, good. how can we know? Well, okay. It's not like he was asking for a couple grand off of the value. What was he asking for? Three something. Ooh. Like cut, cutting it in half or something? Yeah. yeah it is. Okay. Uh, 1C, there's no action on that one. Item 2, the slips are going around to sign. But there's no vote that we need. Uh, item 3, committee and board code of conduct. We're skipping that for this meeting. So we go to budget. Or Okay, this is a, a big jump ahead. We haven't gotten anything yet. But, uh, you know, I, Janice decided not to retire this April. Yeah. She's going through the end of next fiscal year into January, or at the end of next calendar year into January. So I've got the new calculation here for the clerical position. So it'll be 30 weeks of Janice. 10 hours a week and 22 weeks of a new person at 16 hours a week. And that's the total that's on there, which is what I would like to submit for that. So she'll be here for the full year? Uh, she'll be here for all of calendar 24. Okay. And then into the first month of January. She's staying until I. Until I. Until what? Until I leave. She's staying. <laughs> what are we going to do with you? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Send them down the road. <laughs> DFR, huh? Have a parade. Yep, TDY. <laughs> uh, second page is the last four years, the software maintenance. Uh, the GIS, the cloud hosting is going up. The version 8 maintenance, annual maintenance cost is going up. I don't think we've got anything on uh, the GIS yet, but that just bumped up last year from 2400 to 3000 VADAR hasn't changed, so I built a little bit in for that at the bottom. The 500 for those two. So we need to go up from 14 to 15 7 in the software maintenance. And then uh, the next page is the budget itself. I put in my amount, I got the amount for Janice, I included longevity for both myself and Janice. I don't know how that would factor in. We can switch it up. Uh, going through, everything is the, the Software maintenance, I added in 350 for supplies so we can buy a toner cartridge. The one thing I added in was professional services for when I leave if you want to bring me back for a short stint of training. Yeah. And I put that number in there. Council on Aging is bringing the COA director back when they get a new training 
uh, new COA director for training. It's they put in a thousand dollars at hundred dollars an hour for training. We got a problem with that? Well, <laughs> I do and I don't. Why not? I mean, well, it sounds like a lot, but maybe it's not. I don't think it is. Well, looking at it, it's not an employee cost. It's a contract. So, although the amount seems like a lot, all the employment taxes have to be paid out of that as well. So where it might seem like a lot, when you factor in, it, it's more than what the town is paying me now with the benefit cost. I mean, it, it doesn't matter to me if it's in there or not. It's just you, you say $100 an hour, so that's only 10 hours. It's basically 10, 12 hours over the course of a couple months. It doesn't make sense for well, somebody well, to come in. Why don't we leave that number in there? But uh, work on we're, it. Yeah, we're not wed on that amount no, and that's, per hour. But yeah. we can nuance that. Okay, so yeah, so leave that line in there for that because it's somebody, whoever, you, somebody else, we're going to need help training that. New person. Okay. Okay. Uh, DOR approval. The LA3, which is the sales report, was done and approved. The LA15, which is on here, the adjustments. Income year adjustments were going up. Uh, it's 5% on single family homes, our values for this year. And it's similar for the, the multifamily, about 5%. Commercial went up a little bit, mostly the, the large strip malls. Um, farms, Stop and Shop and Big Y are the three big increases. The LA4 were about the same percentage wise. If you look at the classification report, we went from 68.9%, 92% in residential to 68.93%. It's basically flat from this year to last year. The commercial has started climbing up, and I think next year we'll see a big jump with the new Marriott suites yeah. and the climate controlled storage space. And we might have, I think it's Chase Bank is coming in as well. Oh, yeah. Next thing we need is a vote by the board to authorize me to sign the gateway forms. We need a motion and a second. Mr. Bannock, make that motion. Make the motion. Mr. Grader, second that motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, I can't get the pen. <laughs> you have no idea what you're doing, do you? Yeah. Uh, next up is item seven, classification hearing, report, and the presentation. There's a copy in here of the report. It's the same report as last year, same property, same everything, except the numbers are different. It's been up on the website for a little more than a week. The select board has it. And then there's also a 34-page PowerPoint supply, or 34 slide okay. PowerPoint presentation. Let me rephrase it on here. It's basically the same information as last year, yeah. just with the updated numbers. And that hearing is tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. You're going at 10? 
Yeah, I've got to go. Uh, it might be good if you can show up at six. Oh boy. Just to sit there. Let's see. Six tomorrow. Hmm. To He'll be there. Uh, I'm supposed to have a different meeting tomorrow. We'll see. Okay. Well, if you can. But this, I. We voted at the last meeting to recommend a single tax rate, no open space discount, no residential exemption, no small commercial exemption. Selectmen have always gone along with what you've recommended in the past, and I'm not anticipating any changes this time. Uh, special town meeting voted a salary increase for Janice of 3.5% and also longevity and what I'm doing is assuming that they're going to be asking for this before they give the money out probably next month is to have you vote to authorize the three and a half percent step increase and 175 for longevity. Mr. Bannock make that motion? I'll make that Mr. motion. Mr. Grader second that? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. basically mirrors the special town meeting vote giving longevity to anybody with 10 years or more, 10 or 15 years of experience so that I could get it. I was told that the board needs to authorize it in the contract. How many years do you have? 33. 33. <laughs> How about that? Guess you just squeaked over the edge, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, we were told that if you're a contract employee, you don't qualify for it. Mr. Bannock, make the motion. I'll make that motion. Mr. Gray, okay. second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We had some good times these 33 years, Dan. <laughs> I'll stop on that. <laughs> oh, he <God>. is. He's <laughs> probably done by now. <laughs> uh, next up, since we're, our values are done, I contacted Vision about getting our property record cards printed up in PDF form. And they sent us the statement of work. So we need a motion by the board and a second to have the chair sign the statement of work. It's 450 for them to print up all 3,200 or so cards. I'll make the motion. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And we have two other items that should be real quick. Uh, this summer I did a presentation on exemptions over at the Council on Aging. And one of the main things that came up, oh, can you? Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, that I might, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Never heard it says of it. It says we own an The big thing that came up was our Clause 41 exemption, which is the $500 senior exemption. And basically, you have to be 70 as of July 1 start of the fiscal year and you need income of less than 11,653 if you're single including social security and 15,480 if you're married and have assets of 17 for single and 20,000 for married. We don't grant any of these. We used to but those people have passed away. They were getting a small social security stipend. Uh, I said what we would do is we would look at for fiscal 24 next year adopting a different clause 41. There's 41, 41A is the deferral, which we already have. Mm -hmm. and then there's 41B and 41C. And the differences in those are basically the income levels. 41B was put through a long time ago, and it's 15,653 for single and 20,480 for married to get 500 off. 
41C, that jumps up to 18,653, which isn't really a lot. Yeah. And 23,480 if they're married. So what I said I we would do that we were looking at is looking at adopting this at changing it at the Springtown meeting. So I mentioned to the town administrator that we should probably look into doing this at the annual town meeting, but we should wait till we have a new council and aging director hired yeah. to go through it. Right. I mean, that's still low. They're low. And yeah. then there's other ones. Those can be adjusted up by town vote, by select board vote. Oh, okay. So it can go up higher. Some places are extremely high. Uh, we want to be towns. extremely high. We want to be some no. places. Yeah, the, right. <laughs> you can adjust it up to almost anything that's that you want it to be right. within reason. Right. But I think even if we went with the forty-one C of eighteen and twenty-three, there's going to be very few people that would qualify. Right. So is that something the selectmen would look at those numbers? Or is that we would? Uh, we would look at it. We probably have. Make a recommendation to the selectmen? Yeah, I'd like to see town administrator, maybe a finance committee member, yeah. uh, myself, maybe one or two board members, or one board member, and council on the aging director, and maybe a few other people that could look at this and analyze it and go, yeah, what should we put it at? Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it definitely it's should be. No one, no, one get, no one qualifies for plus 41 right now. Right. In town. right. And it's very difficult for somebody to live on nothing. 11, 11, 6. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it would be difficult for somebody to live on the, if they're single on 18, if we went with 41C or 23,000. Yeah. All right. So, okay. Yeah. You can live on that. All right. So that's. Time about going. 50 years yeah, ago. Right. That's nothing that we need to, <laughs> to vote on. Okay. And then the last thing is uh, next week. Thanksgiving week. Janice and I both want to take Wednesday off. So I'm proposing that you guys vote to close the office on Wednesday. I'll make Just that motion. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And just to emphasize this is we're taking vacation days, not free to free anything stuff, yeah. yeah not free yeah. time off thursday that's a different story we get next to you <laughs> but wednesday we're we're taking we're both taking vacation shutting down shut it down everyone else is <laughs> yeah it's stuck in traffic somewhere shut it down what here? close the bridge right <laughs> yeah i used to come home from college and get stuck on the mass pike you know where they cuts off to go to New York yep. for an hour. We'd be sitting. Then when you got by that, it was moving. But that was tradition. Huh. We, well, we had meetings. It would be next Tuesday night. We were Tuesday at 7. And I'd be sitting up at Burger King. Yeah. Stuck. Watching the car. No, I'd be <laughs> watching the cars as it's backed up as far as you can see yeah. to get over the bridge. Yeah. And I just went the back way. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 10 minutes later, go up. North Maple, Rocky Hill. I remember you be coming from Ham heading this way, get up on top of the bridge, and you could see the, the, the headlights. Right. You yeah. know, Rocky Hill, you know, Cemetery Road was jammed. You yeah. know. The part of that story, though, that breaks my heart is we don't have Burger King anymore. Oh, I love Burger King. <laughs> oh, yeah? Bring back Burger King. They still have the one in Ham on yeah. King Street? Yeah, but then the traffic's backed up over the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Where isn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Are we done? We are done. We just need a motion to adjourn. Mr. Bannock. I'll make that motion. Mr. Grader. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.